hi beauties welcome back to my channel welcome back to another weekly vlog today i'm all dressed and ready we're going to a christmas market a dutch christmas market and i know that it's just october very freshly october but these Christmas markets are open from October all the way until January and there's a few of them so we figured we'd just start now. It is so beautiful so let's go. Come with me to a Christmas market in the Netherlands. When you first walk in there's all of these really cute little villages and this one's after the Efteling which is an amusement park. That green roller coaster I've actually been on and it is insane it's crazy and all of these little homes or little like houses you can actually buy them so it's really common for Dutch people to like make little villages during the holidays. We stopped and got some food. I got a croquette monsieur and I also got a cappuccino and it was so good and much needed to refuel before shopping we then hit the home section and since we are currently on the apartment hunt it was so fun to just shop around and look at some good inspo for when we do find our apartment after that we went ahead and took the escalator all the way to the top level and it takes you through this like really cute showroom of these little rooms fully decked out in like christmas decorations like i know it's early october but as a girl with a birthday on christmas it really helps me get in the christmas Christmas mood early. Then we found this cute little phone and I went ahead and called Santa up and gave him my wish list this year. Doubles as a birthday gift, okay? They also had all of these super cute Christmas ornaments. Like here was the espresso martini and then a harp. I love harps. We also saw some cute little bunnies. I was not expecting to see animals. And this was the little trinket me and my boyfriend walked out with us as shoppers. And then we checked out the Olibola stand outside. And that was our Christmas market adventure. So all of those like little buildings are things that you can get and people often like build little villages as their like Christmas decorations in their house. I know that even in the States my mom brought some of hers from being over here so we had like little ice skating figures and like a little village of them and so since it's me and Kenan's first holiday season living now in the Netherlands we decided we were going to start our little village so we got the first two pieces and we decided to go with the couple that has just like a bunch of shopping bags because nothing honestly could fit us better we're both two little shoppers we love to shop and then next holiday season maybe we'll get something bigger to get the village going but we thought that would be a fun first tradition and then i did get a little gift for my mom but i'm not going to show it because just in case she watches this I don't want her to know what it is yet because I want it to be a surprise. It was super fun, so cute. All of the little trinkets and little villages like literally blew my mind how intricate and cute they are. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm like out of breath. I literally just had to run up and down the stairs like five times in a row. I'm about to do my skincare for the morning and I think I'm gonna do some light makeup today. I'm not too sure yet. I don't know, I kind of do want to but I don't really feel like wearing a full face. You know what I mean? But I'm always down for good skincare sesh. If you guys have been watching my like channel for a bit, I feel like you guys definitely know that like I am a habit of routine kind of person. Like I love having a routine. If I have a good morning routine that I'm like excited to get out of bed and like start the day, like do my morning routine, I'm so much more productive. Anyway, and I feel like it's just taken a while to like have like my morning routine get in the swing of things you know and we're still looking for our apartment so we haven't really had like the chance to like fully do our own thing yet if that makes sense i started like being proactive the last few days find ways to emulate that self routine and like my own space and like just trying to like get myself in the mindset of that and i feel like it's helped a lot just like the last few days making that a priority so I'm going to take you guys through what I do. Today, we're getting organized. We're getting proactive, aligning our goals, getting back in motion, back in the swing of things. Waking up every day and doing a good morning skincare routine just helps me stay aligned. It's my little bit of me time in the morning, especially if I'm not planning on doing my makeup that day. I also just like, it's a look good, feel good. If your skin 
looks good i feel like you're just naturally going to be more confident and i'm just trying to stay on top of things making sure that what i'm doing is like aligning to the best version of myself that i want to become i feel like your early 20s is like definitely a moment of your life where you're like figuring out who you are as a person like outside of school and outside of being around as many people as you were around and just like figuring out who you want to be the person you want to become you know what you want to do with your life and i've been thinking about that a lot lately just because i feel like there's no perfect time to not like rebrand i guess rebrand if you want to but like figure out who you want to be as a person what aligns with your goals and like what your end goal in life is like what you want to be doing and just like figuring out who that is you can like manifest it and work towards it making sure i'm aligned with my goals and who i want to become and that i'm actually working towards them like i do not want the last thing i want to do is get stuck doing something i hate doing because i just feel like oh this is just how life is you know what i mean like that's just like the last thing i want like i don't want to plateau and i want to make sure I'm very clear about what my goals are and of course they can change they can evolve things will change what's meant for you will happen but I still want to make sure that I'm like aligned in that yeah so I'm just trying to be very intentional shall you say because I'm a very determined person I cannot get my head to turn off I am somebody that's like you have to be doing this you have to be uploading this you have to do this get your views up get your engagement up send in job applications find an apartment like my mind is like yelling at me to be doing a hundred million things at once and i think i was also getting overwhelmed the last few days and i realized when i'm overwhelmed and i can't think clear and so i've been trying to just like slow down and i feel like once i slowed down i was able to like align with myself again you know what i mean and i think another thing is like social media can overwhelm your brain because you think you see everything everyone else is doing and you're like i need to be doing this i need to be doing this i need to be doing this like it's okay you're on your own path you need to chill out and focus on you so that's what we're doing another thing i love to do is just like sit down and do my makeup that's a favorite clears the head good me time again and look good feel good vibes so right now i'm just gonna film a video have my makeup bag here and my like daily makeup bag sitting here and i'm just gonna film and get ready with me I just finished the makeup and I didn't feel like wearing any mascara today and I honestly just didn't really feel like wearing makeup today in general but I still wanted to give a little shush so I just did a little bit of makeup and I'm really happy with how it turned out but the next step that I do is goal set for the day calendar the deal this is my calendar. If you guys know me, then you know that I am a big goal setter. So I do monthly goals, yearly goals, and weekly goals. And I write them all down in my calendar just so they're all in one place. So let's write down our goals for today. Since it's Wednesday, just things that we want to do. Things that I want to make sure to chip off so that everything works out in the long run. wrote down everything i feel good just like writing my goals down helps me like know everything that i need to do that day and it just helps me because then i look at it and then i'm like okay i need to do that like just helps me get everything done so next i'm gonna go through some emails this is how i do brand deals usually the brands will email me and then we just kind of like go back and forth for a bit figure out if it's a good fit or not to do it and then when it's done sending in the video for approval and just stuff like that so i'm just going through checking in if there's any new emails any updates on stuff i have a brand deal coming in and this is the first time i'm doing a brand deal and having the package ship to the netherlands so 
this is definitely like a trial run i'm really intrigued to see how it's going to work out that will help me know moving forward how brain deals are going to go now being in the eu so that'll be interesting for sure but i'm excited because then i know how to move like go about it moving forward i think that was something i was a little bit like hesitant at first i declined quite a few brand deals because i was just like i don't know how it works here and this brand deal was with a brand that i've worked with prior and i love them and i actually had to leave their products in the states because i don't think i could fly with it or maybe that's just me thinking that i couldn't fly with it but i left them at home and so when they emailed me i was like actually this is the perfect thing i know them they know me they were open to doing it so fingers crossed everything goes well with that because if it goes well then i can continue on doing that and reviewing products and making review videos for you guys because i know that that those videos are probably my most watched videos is typically like reviewing content trying different things reviewing products reviewing makeup hair care like the whole thing so I'm feeling good about that. I'm definitely experiencing a lot of growth here and just like learning how to adapt to a new environment. You can't grow if you're not uncomfortable and I feel like I've been in the best way possible uncomfortable since I've been here just because I've had to learn how to adapt and I'm so grateful for the experience and the opportunity to grow from it all i'm really excited i feel like it inspires me a lot anyway I'm not meaning to push all of this like preach on you but i feel like it's because i've been watching so many motivational videos on youtube to retrain my brain into like positive thinking positive self-talk that i can do everything that i put my mind to and i feel like when i was scrolling on tiktok i feel like i was getting so much negative stuff on my feed all the time and it like low-key was affecting me which i feel like i have a pretty strong head in like i know what i who i am what i want to do like that but i think i was absorbing so much of it to where i was like it was starting to affect me and i was like okay no we need to change that and so i started switching the content i was absorbing into more positive motivational uplifting and it really helped give me a clear head and got me out of like a foggy headspace like i was in a foggy headspace and now i'm not so i always watch a motiva motivational video a day because i feel like it just keeps me in check so that's what we're gonna do now the motivational video i decided to watch today is the wizard liz on how to stop being lazy and pathetic so true so i'm sat let's watch this I just finished watching the video and it was so good and it was funny because I feel like I've never watched that video before but she was saying a lot of the things that I was saying in the bathroom to you guys so I felt like that was funny I was like oh kind of on the same wavelength there but she also said a lot of other stuff that was just like really good so yeah definitely making sure that you're taking in the right content on to the next task of the day the next task has been something I've been procrastinating for a few days we're just gonna get up and get it done okay no more procrastinating get up do it let's get it done this is literally what's on our bike ride home you guys i did everything on the to-do list today i literally wrote like bullet points of multiple things and we did them all I'm so proud of us. I even got a new water bottle. My old water bottle that I brought over from the States broke. Like the lid was broken, so I couldn't bring it anywhere. And I finally got a new one. Since we checked everything off the to-do list, now McKean's and I are gonna go watch a movie together. Pull up with a city of bun. Oh, sorry, I have to remember. Keenan always, he just thinks I cut him off because I film like this. Yeah, you do cut me off. <laughs> And he's so dang tall after to remember that, that I literally we'll have just to put it up here. angle it up. Nice, here we go. So that he fits One in whole frame. Hit taller. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go watch a movie. Yay! Catch you guys later. It is the next day, and I've honestly just been. I filmed a video 
edited it, uploaded it, and then I've been going through my emails and we set the tone yesterday for good things to come because I am so excited about this. I cannot wait for you guys to see. That was such a surreal moment. I'm excited and it definitely just proves like the power of just like positive words, believing in yourself, manifesting like so that's really exciting i'm excited for you guys to see it i'm just excited to be a part of it i went ahead and i've been working on checking things off of my to-do list that i made for today and we've been doing really well but my next thing that is on the to-do list is to sit down and edit this video so i can get it up for you guys tonight and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope leaving this video you feel inspired and motivated to get it together and maybe do some things that were on your to-do list that you've been procrastinating i love you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next thursday bye beauties